Hey everyone, this is Sol with another episode of, or well, maybe the last episode of League Season. A scuffed intro for a scuffed episode. I believe this is the 14th episode and uh, this might be the last one. Not sure. We'll find out. Of course, if you don't mind liking the video, subscribing for more content and let's get right to uh, what chats because we're, we're live right now. What, what chat wants to talk about, but I already brought it up. But uh, there was a uh, there was a build that was put on to, uh, well, th th that was patched in just, I guess, last night or so. Uh, Mr. GM was was taking a look over uh, with, with WoW tools, which is awesome. Uh, and he discovered five cloaks. I'll just read it. In the last 9.2 retail build from last night, they added five new Encrypto 3D back pieces, all the same model, but five different colors, googly eyes. How many main dragon flights are there? Like 50. <laughs> there's five main dragon flights, obviously. Okay, you know, there's the red and the emerald and the black and the bronze and the last one that I missed. Blues. There you go. Uh, he said 3D back pieces. I, th I He reads this stuff way better than I do. I have a feeling that it has something to do with how this value model material resources or, or whatever, how this has a, a value to it. But since we are really, <laughs> it's, it, it seems pretty obvious. Okay. We're going to, we're going to do like the dragon thing. Um, getting five different cloaks, doesn't surprise me one bit, but there's a lot of people that are speculating stuff uh, on it uh, that, are, that are going really deep into it. But let's start with the surface like, OK, five different, uh, you know, five different wings. I'm sorry, five different cloaks. See, I'm getting ahead of myself because Chad is like, dude, they got to be wings. They've got to be wings. They probably are. I, I think it's safe to say that whenever we go with the most predictable answer, we're usually right. You know, there, there's no, there ain't no Game of Thrones kind of like weird red herring this speculation and all that stuff. Oh, the dragon flight thing is fake because they're trying to misdirect us. No, that's 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 more most likely not what it is. Let's presume five cloaks, five flights, but are they wings? Because I at least want to, uh, I, I I at least want to kind of, you know, ponder or wonder if it might be something else. What might it be? Um, if not, um, if not necessarily wings, what would be some cool back art that aren't wings? Because we've seen some other stuff. We've seen uh, like the Night Fae packs. Well we've, we, well, we've seen like all the different sorts of Covenant backs and all that, which are all really cool in, in their own way. I, I have favorites and all that. But, you know, we have those. And those have very, very different styles. There's all the stuff that we got from patch 9.1. You know, all those, all the weird fangled things that we got for, for like the Maw. Um, those are very odd, but still kind of gnarly and cool too. There are the, there's the Murloc backpacks. I don't know if I, I said that already. Uh, there's the, there's the OG backpack that we got from uh, Rathian back in patch 8.3. There is the, uh, the, the other backpack that you get from the recruiter friend sort of stuff, which hasn't been updated in forever, but a well. But what might we get? Could it be like something else? Are there any on use cloaks? Um, well, if, if you're talking about on use for like functionality, Justin, if we're talking, you know, the what's it called? Uh, the legendary cloak, those had effects that were like an on use thing, but that was for like corruption related stuff and uh, and all that. Uh, that's all the functionality was. But if you're talking about cosmetic, no, not to my knowledge. Um, yeah, not to my knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone's bringing up uh, if you uh, t if you enchant, <laughs> enchant, or, or or tinker your cloak with a goblin glider, then cool, it becomes an on-use item. Uh, that's about it, though. I mean, like I said, it's probably going to be wings. Right, I didn't even switch to the desktop. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, here, here's what here's what Mr. GM said. Uh, you know, here, here's the stuff. Here's the here like the resources and all that. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that that's I'm I'm keeping myself open 
right? I'm keeping myself open to be like, oh, what if they're what if they're not wings? What if what if it's just what if it's a new kind of cloak that has that doesn't just uh, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say gyrate. <laughs> what if it's a new cloak that has like a, like a new sort of animation style to it? Um, but it needed to have, you know, but, but, you know, adding this 3d texture, it would be, you know, it would add, that's, that's what they needed to do in order to add that sort of different animation style, different texture or, or whatever. Um, it could be something like that, or we could be tremendously disappointed. And like the 3d thing is just like a, like a little tiny burp in the back. And it's like nothing. It's like, Oh, Okay. It could be something entirely different too. This could be like entirely different, like shop related, you know, shop related stuff that, yeah, it's going to be a pre-order thing, but it's not, it's just not wings. It's going to be like, yeah, the red, you know, we, the red dragon flights, we're going to give you champion rocket packs. Rocket packs. I'll take rocket packs. Absolutely. I would, <laughs> I would totally support, especially if it let me like fly or something like that. Or what if, uh, or what if like similar to, yeah, here, here we go. Like, like kind of what Menard's saying. Um, what if it is like the Murloc backpack, but instead of a Murloc, it's a whelp. It's one of those whelplings. That'd be cute. Right. But I, but, but I figure like, the males would prefer no no that's very sexist to me I, I think there's a lot of folks that just would prefer like wings a la um you know like the warlock thing where they just boom they just pop up do they just pop up like that and and otherwise they they tuck themselves back in most of the time or do or are they just on all the time i'm not sure how i'd feel about either i mean i, I think for novelty i would i would sport it you know, I would be like, OK, obviously, I'm going to go shirtless. I'm going to get as naked as possible, but I'll have wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but but we'll just have to see. Maybe it's like an egg Tamagotchi you have to take care of until it uh, hatches. Um, or or like 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 some other folks, like it, it could be a, a flying mount sort of thing where we can finally just fly. People have been asking for that like for the longest time, man. Like just like how uh, once upon a time, uh, Torin, Torin were able to just run, and that was their mount. It was called like plane striding or something like that. Um, you know, kind of similar to, to the, what the worgen got, but it would be like just that's how you, that's how you go, that's how you mount, and you know that's kind of cool. Um, it's on all the time and flaps when you. Yeah, that'd be cool if it had like this auto glide, sort of function. But boy, would that piss people off, right? Because remember, these are these are shop things, or th th these might be shop things. So no one's gonna want like, oh, I gotta pay for that shit. F you, bull is. How dare you? Where do I swipe, bruh? You know, <laughs> where do I where do I drop my WoW token and all that? Uh, but it would it, it would be cool. Um, We'll, we'll find out. We're going to find out in five days. I'm going to buy this shit in five days. Uh, blindly. Like a true shill. This is the most, this is like the one legit thing that I'll be talking about here uh, in today's episode. Everything else is just, a load, is just a load of crap as a warning. Super fake, made up, uh, and, and all. Do my best to dismantle it and talk smack about it because that is the respect that these fake leaks deserve. And let's go. Dragonflight leak from Paul Sanchez. 19 wow. With a, <laughs> what sort of bravery is that's both random and, and brave. This dude is <laughs> 40 years old. What am I going to spend my time on? I'm going to make leaks. Yes, I'm going to make fake leaks. Of course, I think of how old other content creators... I think of how old I am. Good God, Zol. Don't be insulting <laughs> people who are far younger than you. Four new zones. The Howling Tundra is a cold and very windy area. The trees there have been shaped by the flow of the wind and have hindered growth. There are two black dragon encampments on the opposite sides of the area. 
The ground is blanketed by a thin layer of snow and frost. Why are, if you're leaking, why are you like a writer? Or uh, why are you trying to be so descriptive? Just get right to it. So, so here are the zones. Kairash is a very sandy area that has a giant canyon running down the middle of it. There's a city reminiscent of Petra. What's Petra? I don't know what Petra is supposed to be. Oh, you have to be in the know. So, God. And it runs along the side of the canyon. This is where the new dragonborn race resides. There will also be... Uh, these will also become a new playable race. Great. Dragonborn race and... Well, great. Oh, whatever. The, the Abzerian Marshlands is a place where marsh space lands... I'm just going to leave that there because it annoys me. Uh, the Asbarian Marshlands is a place where it rains constantly. There's a river running down it that is so wide. There is a river running down it that is so wide that it, there's an underwater city within it. This is where the water dragons. Water dragons. So not, not exactly the blues, but these are the water dragons. So Petra is an old city of sorts. Well, that's what I get for not listening in school. The time at peaks are a is a is are ugh. the time at peaks is group is a grouping of large mountains overlooking all the other zones. There's a consistent blizzard <laughs> throughout the mountain range. There's a cave at the very top. This is where the blood dragons reside. There are two warring black dragon clans within the Howling Tundra. The players will learn about each dragon clan and help both out with different side threats that aren't each other. After that, the player must choose which side to pledge uh, to help with the war effort against the other clan. This will have a big payoff down the line and will be tied to cosmetic, pound, uh, cosmetic mount, pets, and title rewards. Uh, Kairesh is a land rich with mystery and ruins. The players will meet up with Nosdorm and the Dragonborn against Nazoth's. Oh, Nazoth's. Oh, he's back. Nazoth's cultist. Zalatath will be the main antagonist of this area, and she will be wielding the blade that once imprisoned her that now imprisons Nazoth. What? Wait. Uh. And there will be a huge cinematic finale at the end. Wait. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember this right. Okay, so once upon a time, Dagger shows up. I forgot why. We pick it up. We inadvertently uh, help free Zalatath from her prison. And she's like, bye. But then we still have the Dagger. And uh, Nathanos somehow gets the Dagger, gives it to Ashara, and he's like, all right, bye. And then we... Oh, I, I'm forgetting this, guys. I'm I'm so I'm totally forgetting this. Like, like I'm trying to I'm just trying to follow the chain of evidence. You know, <laughs> the the whole chain of possession. Who had the dagger last? Well, ba I mean, it ended with uh, Rathian having the dagger. Like, hey, gotcha, and then he stabbed Zoth somewhere, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like like the little lavos looking core of Nazoth uh, comes out. You know, and, and and like, okay, let's do it. And then we bust that open and then we fight actual Nazoth. So how, why, why does she have the dagger all of a sudden? And how does it now imprison Nazoth? How, how is he in prison or did we just, I thought we just blasted him with, as with Azeroth juice. You know, we canon him, we canned it, canned you know, we did the whole Azrite cannon right to the face. But he's back. Five lights to something, something. You know, I don't know. Queen Ashara becomes an unexpected ally. Unexpected ally. We already had her as an unexpected ally because she... Whatever does the dagger and all that. Yeah, that's why I think we got the dagger back from her. I don't know. Anyway, she becomes an unexpected ally after the player and her both get captured by the blood dragons. The water dragons come to our aid and free us. We then join them to eradicate the blood dragons from that zone. You know, that wouldn't surprise me to see a raid boss all of a sudden become a buddy. Or at least a raid boss, you know, that, that we just blast the shit out of and 
all this other crazy stuff happened, and then all of a sudden she's just like, "Oh no, I'm I'm helpless. I got captured by these the by these rando ass blood dragons that we're suddenly supposed to like care about." Um, where are the reds at? Where, where's like all the others? Uh, the water dragons come to our aid and free us. We then join them to eradicate the blood dragons from that zone. After this, players will hit level 70. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And go to time at peaks where they push the blood dragons back into their cave. This cave will be the first raid and dungeon are. That sounds really boring. Water dragons and blood dragons. And what happens when you get water and blood and mix them together? You get sharks, baby. Then we get shark dragons. Holy shit. And then the shark dragons will have wind magic things. And then they'll cast the wind magic on each other and all the sharks will come together. You know where I'm going with this. And they're just going to break shit, dude. You can't stop that. Ah, they got sharks. The, 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 the twister has teeth. What do we do? I don't know. How did they? Uh, anyone watch Sharknado? Anyone crazy enough to have watched it? Because, like, how do you stop the Sharknado? Because if we anyone who knows that is going to know how the end of this story goes. That's how that's how the expansion ends. So. Yeah. Other topics of interest. I don't know if I'm interested, buddy, but here we go. Archaeology will be returning this expansion pack and we'll have a whole storyline tied to it. That sounds kind of cool. You got you got to tell me that ending, right? All right, let us all know. So then then we'll know how the ending of this goes. There will be eight dungeons that come out at launch. Nice and safe. Seven of them will be four boss dungeons, while the other will be a three boss uh, dungeon. That's oddly specific. I mean, one, I don't see why that's important. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that, that's oddly, that's oddly specific. Anyway, player housing is not coming to launch. It will be a new feature at a later date. That is probably not the kind of thing that they want to, you know, part of me, you know, my copium says, oh yeah, maybe they'll introduce player housing in, in like a soft launch and it's not going to come out with the expansion, but it's going to come out like later into it. There will be a new nine boss raid where players will take the fight to the blood dragon queen, Tiamat herself. Splash her with water. Alex Strauss will be the new Cadgar slash Bolvar of this expansion pack, but will have a much bigger role to play than Bolvar did. You know, there's there's not a whole lot that we can elevate there. Oops. Because Bolvar did like jack shit. So to, to hear that, oh, she's going to have a much bigger role to play than Bolvar did. Is that really a high bar to hit? Nope. <laughs> nope. She'll talk more. Ooh. Uh, and, and, and that's it. Maybe we'll use her as like a freaking uh, flight taxi or something like that, for all we know. Uh, there will be six new reputations at launch. Another kind of weird rando thing. Uh, new system, Heart of Azeroth 2.0. Okay, this is interesting now. We'll talk about this. Uh, Blizzard is implementing a new necklace, Transmog, for the Heart of Azeroth, so it will be visible on players while they wear it. Oh, I will turn that shit off immediately immediately anyway let me read the rest new cosmetics for the heart of azeroth will be unlockable through means of raiding mythic plus pvp and world quests the titan soul excuse me the titan soul is dying because of zavala's attack and the players must now use the necklace to heal the world soul again but not in the way you would expect harness the power of the heart to steal the souls of the enemy you slay to imbue them into azeroth to help in the process of healing her so we have become a murderer right <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna steal the souls of the enemies you slay hey guys let's do a for the horde raid <laughs> let's do a for the alliance raid we gotta save azeroth mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds that sounds so gruesome but yeah a cosmetic neck nope 
Nope, 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 nope. Absolutely not. Um, it, <laughs> it would be, it would have to be like hella big, uh, in, in order for there to be like a, you know, a meaningful, uh, sort of cosmetic, uh, you know, display for it. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't quite jive with me. I'd have to be like, I, I better have it look like a freaking, you know, gold medallion with multiple chains and all that stuff. And I'll get that Mr. T sort of look. It's like, dude, Heart of Azra 2.0. Check it, homies. Ching-ling. I want it to make sounds when I walk or run because, you know, you're always running. I want to make it. I want to make sounds. I want to see that shit like jingle and all that, too. Uh, but but a Heart of Azra. So something something interesting that I, I very briefly brushed on yesterday during my speculation sort of thing. What is going to happen with the Heart of Azeroth? If we're going to the Dragon Isles, does that mean it's like, hey, let's go to the Dragon Isles. Oh, Heart of Azeroth. It doesn't reach there, by the way. Oh, of course it doesn't. <laughs> of course it doesn't reach there because something's blocking it. Yeah, of course. Uh, but it, but it also kind of like does weird things with like, OK, what if there's an old world revamp? What if they what if like Tourist Fall Glades, you know, Eastern Western Eastern Plaguelands? What if those are like places we can go to? Would that mean that I'd want to? Use my heart of Azeroth, or is the heart of Azeroth going to be finally like? Are they finally going to kill it off? Which would suck again. Uh, I wouldn't be very pleased. Uh, I wouldn't be very pleased about that. Or are they going to update it? Are they going to go back to the heart of Azeroth and do something with that? That is not, you know, uh, you know, take some lessons learned. You know, take take the system as it was. Make sure that. What we've done before doesn't feel like it's it's just being lost, but still give us something new, but it's like friendlier. That's based on lessons learned. I don't know. Let's move on to Wow Dragonflight uh, by Dusk Maiden. A new race starts in a <clears throat> excuse me. So a new race starts in a level one through fifteen version of Grimpatol as a dragon whelp. That hatches while it's under attack from a raid of adventurers. Me! Uh, they disguise themselves as a fallen adventurer to help disrupt and repel the raid. They betray the Twilight Dragons when they discover the raid was sent to rescue them and the other dragon eggs from being experimented on. They gain a customizable true form at level 10, which acts as a travel form. But aren't you a whelp? Right? Unless you're like... G- genetically like juiced up in a lab and you know you get like full size or whatever uh, they unlock a customizable mortal form at level 15 during a ceremony at worm rest the mortal forms are available based on faction choice they have unique customizations not available to base race but lack access to all of the customizations available to characters of that race that's an interesting premise actually so new character Starts at Grim Patrol from the perspective of an experimented whelpling. You know, you see like Johnny Awesome come in and just vape everything because he's like super max level. Um, when when you, the new character, break out, I mean, um, yeah, when they discover, I, I guess as as a young. I, I, I guess as a youngling or whatever, like you don't, you, you feel like, oh, I'm living in the tube. This is cool. This is normal. I'm cool with this. And then the adventure is like, no, man, we're here to, we're here to save you. Um, odd that 15 levels take place in what, in, in, in just Grim Batol and probably the surrounding area too. And, and there might be, there might be other things. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of a cool premise, actually. Uh, the max level zone for the launch is a time junk desert. The zones, subzones, are stolen pieces from different AU timelines. The largest subzone is Watlik Eridalaran, ruled over by Malagos. Expeditions into the desert replaces Torghast with a new time travel map UI that lets players pick their route. Wow, two for two. This sounds this sounds neat. Um, I don't buy it. This is a hell of fake, but uh. Yeah, so it's, so it's a zone that has random shit happens. Um, 
Yeah, that, that sounds intense. So, like, imagine, like, like the zone is split into, like, five sections or so. You jump into one, and then it just, like, yeah, like, subzones, basically. Um, now, the largest subzone is Watluck Aerodalaran ruled over by Malakos. Wait. That's... That, that would suck. Because Dalaran is not big, dude. If Dalaran's the biggest of the subzone... Then what's everything else? Like the size of a the size of a order hall? That would be the smallest zone in WoW. But you know there'd have to be like thirty of these different things and all that. Anyway, uh, the raid is against a group. The raid one raid is against a group of constellars. Collector collectors edition items, uh, Lorath Aran protector mounts and smiley grim pets. Okay, that's very specific and since this came out yesterday does not match the build that came out that uh, mr gm identified with the five uh cloaks so whoops i mean who knows like this could be in addition to the cloaks that are coming like let's say everyone gets the cloaks because you know just like how everyone got the the tree mount thing People got to choose which mount they, they, they would want to get. People chose the tree. I didn't want the tree, but you know, whatever. And this, and you know, and that could be something. This is just something more. <clears throat> There's a new UI element that shows the main characters of the expansion with their background and recent events. Uh, you level up your relationship with characters through mini games like throwing house parties, which unlock personal quests for them. So a dating sim. New class and heritage quests available and added with a new UI element in collections, providing breadcrumb quests to class and heritage quests. Glyph effects are centralized through the collection, along with animation toggles for new unlocks and old unlocks like the Green Fire Warlock quest. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Because if I'm, if I'm recalling this correctly, like if you go Green Fire for Warlocks, can you turn that off? And if so, how? Because I'm not familiar with it. I never did it. Uh, new class quests enable altered spell effects. Silver spell animations for crit for priests. Purple spell animations for hunters. Blue fire animations uh, for for mages. See, that's what I would like. You know, that, that that's my idea of class skins. Uh, you know, they, they take the effects. They're effectively the, they're they're effectively and mechanically the same, just with very slight very just you know, slight variations um, to give it some flavor, uh, but not enough to make it feel like the class plays any differently. Initial housing. Okay, good. They, I was going to say, like, they got to include housing here. Initial housing options available in capital cities and old starting zones with two generic faction ones built uh, using garrison assets. There's a second set of housing options unique to, spe to specific classes. Furnishings are bundled together into collectible sets that are unlocked account wide. This one feels safe. I mean, it's fake, right? I would say the most uh, brave thing that they talk about was the whole uh, time junk desert. Um, but everything else feels like a uh, let's let's just let's just kind of tip two into this lady mama reveals well dragonflight huge plot point leak hello from germany enjoy before this gets deleted okay this person doesn't even know how mmo champion works come on Greymane and chromie fight against caligos and tears fall glades nobody knows why caligos turned against the alliance and the horde well you should know because you're leaking it See, if you're leaking, just leak it. Rathian and Chromie seem to be the only big dragons on our side. Malfurion dies in the free patch. Players, Alliance, and a Horde. <laughs> this, this person is, Lady Mama sounds so excited. It's like, oh my God, it's like same faction stuff. Alliance and Horde. Ah! Anyway, they have to bring his body back to Taronda italics in a quest. Silver Moon is being remade. Dragons take over. Many blood elves die, but Leandrin survives and leads the offensive against 
the United Dragons. Man, I feel bad for Blood Elves, dude. Like, so many of them were wiped out in the initial purge of Silver Moon. Thanks, Arthas. Um, then a lot of them were split off when Kael'thas was like, "Hey, dudes, we're l l let's let's get out of here. Let's go to Outland and be evil." And they're like, "Yeah." So a bunch of them were split off and killed a bunch of them too, in in later raids and the Magister's Terrace dungeon. Some of them broke off because they're like, "We want to be high elves," and the, and then the blood elves, are like, "Dude, you are high elves. We just name, we're just named differently." Like, no, we want to be high high elves, and so they go off to the alliance and become void elves. Like, whoops. So, so more of them split off. And then now there's going to be another thing where dragons wipe out a whole bunch of elves. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> that's, man. That's kind of, that, that's kind of messed. Uh, the goblins want to leave the horde. But Jim. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Jim Firepaw stops them after a council meeting. Y'all need to stop leaving. Uh, he seems to have secret information about a corrupted dragon in Pandaria. The, <laughs> Jim the big reveal in the gameplay trailer is Cadgar is bold Cadgar storming out of Jaina's room. <gasps> I'm not reading any further. The big reveal in the gameplay trailer, which is going to be high res, I should add, is Cadgar storming out of Jaina's room. Yeah, looking very angry. <laughs> what happened? Uh, he says uh, they gave the Alliance and Horde a chance at peace when he defeated the Legion, but now the only way to peace is destruction? What the fuck? See, I was just alluding to the whole, you know, hey, they were fornicating and all that, but oh, well, whatever. Khadgar is dying, but before he dies, he wants to save Azeroth and carry on Medivh's legacy. And the only way to do that is to destroy the Alliance and the Horde. Duh. He tries to recruit Janna, but even she doesn't help him. Khadgar is seen transforming into Caligos, <gasps> Twist, and flying away. Wait. How does that make sense? Khadgar is dying. Khadgar trans... Oh, I'm sorry. Transforming. Totally different. Transforming into Calgos and fly away. So is Cadgar dying or is Calgos dying? Or is this like a separate line? The big reveal is that Cadgar storms out of jail. Oh no! So I was right. Because if Cadgar is Calgos, and you know they were going out, right? And he was like, "Come on, Jaina, don't you want some of this D?" And Jaina's like, uh, "No, I'm tired of that D. I'm dating Jim Firefly now. <laughs> this is bad." Oh, th oh, this is from a while ago. This is from five five days ago is an eternity ago. Okay, we've learned so many new things from this. Yeah, th this was this did not work out. Oh, uh, here we go. Glyph UI leak. All right. So from Wild Glyphs, who has not been banned yet, snagged these from a friend. Says they're not sure the glyph system will be ready for 10.0, but this is where it's at currently. You know, if if yeah, of course it should be ready. If they're going to do major glyphs again, it has to be ready for 10-0. Otherwise, what the fuck do you do? Anyway, unless it is just cosmetic. Uh, oh, this is this is super fake. Yeah, this is so dumb. Okay, so. <laughs> snag these from a friend. By the way, I'm going to reveal the character's name. And uh, and out him and all that. So either the friend took this screenshot or the leaker took this screenshot. And now the leaker has just ruined his friend's career. Smooth. The fonts aren't right. Like, what the fuck is this? What the hell is that? And why is, you know, okay, okay. Even in like beta alpha stuff you're not just gonna have like fonts that you've never seen before put into the game you're gonna see like you're gonna see like different shit yeah this this don't work at all but you know let's let's humor myself so glyphs are going to be put into the equipment ui now like what happened to the other sh or maybe this is the equipment ui and then this is just the name of the thing that 
you want to put in. Which is kind of like, wait. So they they spectraled every mount. I don't, you know, I'm not sure if that sort of, I'm not sure if that's really a thing. Um, I don't think you can just put a filter and say, hey, we made them all transparent. I don't think that works. I don't think it works like that. Uh, it might, it, it could be something like, um, uh, like a transparency. They'd have to do very simple. It would basically be an effect that's put onto the mount. You know, kind of like how when you go into shadow form and then you get onto your mount and then your mount has the shadow form, like that would be it. So that would be the thing that you do if you wanted to have mount equipment or a glyph that, that would apply to that. But that'd be kind of, oh, that's kind of boring too. But yeah, this don't work because the damn, you know, the, the, the font's too big, it overlaps. The, yeah, that's just, that's just lazy. And it's probably trying to play off as, oh, we're just gonna put in this name as, there's no font placeholder. placeholder. So, uh, big doubt on this one. Seems kind of cool. It has has some interesting premise though, because there's like I guess filters and weird shit like that. Um, oh, and sp okay, so those are mounts, and then these are spells. So profession inscription: Yellow lightning is caused due to a high concentration of dust in the air and is an indication of a dry thunderstorm. Orange fire, fell fire, cobalt fire, cold ruby, verdant lightning, gold amber. Ale, healing, sapphire, healing. Uh, and then Glyph of Spirit Animal. Your spirit wolves are replaced with your current spirit animal form. That and why the hell are you using fucking fucking camera? You know you can capture screenshots, right? Like, like the camera things are like just bad form. Yeah, it, it, it seems like a very confusing UI experience too. Because, okay, you gotta take the Glyph, you gotta slot it in here. Boom. And then you unlock... Or, and then this menu opens up. That seems really messy, actually. So, like, if you change the glyph to, like, something else, then what do you get? They could say, oh, this is alpha, you know, this is not gonna... You know, this isn't how it's really going to look. But I'll tell you this, if this was alpha, you probably wouldn't even see, like, names on here. It'd probably be, like, one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. Why do they have ten friends? So this is supposed to be, like, a supposed glyph UI leak. But this doesn't look very good at all. Like between the font and how how the how that flow doesn't look right, the UI does the, the UI experience. Um, you know, it looks early, but it doesn't quite make sense at all. I don't know what the hell spirit animal is. Uh, that is actually going to be it for for the leaks that I found so far, and this might be it. Uh, there might be another episode that we'll have on Monday, the day before. Uh, or, or even before that, if there's like something like huge that drops and then I'll try to cover stuff over the weekend or so. Uh, but otherwise, that is it. Let me know what you think of some of these rando leaks and, uh, and what you guys think. Sorry for the scuffed show. Uh, but until next time, folks, uh, you know, thanks for coming and all that stuff. And I'll see you for the next thing. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.